Good morning. I'm going to show you the settings on the uh, control panel for the Arizona 1.5 and 3.5. And this is the settings when using a K type P100 thermal couple. Uh, I'll, I'll explain to you uh, the different settings if you're using a, a simple K type with the two uh, wires. But sometimes people that are unauthorized might get a hold of uh, or get in front of your machine and mess up the uh, controls which will totally render the machine unable to be used. I'm going to show you the correct settings. I'm not going to go into detail of what each setting is. You can look at that on the Omron manual. If you don't have one, I can send you a copy. Email Randy at BuckeyeCoffee.com. But this is what's called the level button. You press that for about three or four seconds, it flashes, and then it switches to this setting. This setting is the input setting for your uh, thermal couples. This machine, I forgot, was modified to use the K thermal couple, which you would adjust the up and down button on the right uh, to change it to six. On if you have a PT100, which many of the ones prior to the spring of uh, 2016 came only with the PT100s, that setting would be turned down to one by pressing those buttons. Um, obviously, I don't want to do that because uh, I uh, have the K type. Okay, so the next button you want to press is the second one on the right, which is called the mode button. When you press that, that brings up the screen that allows you to switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius, F or C. I'm just telling you this one screen because every time, every once in a while people ask how to switch it. If at this point that's all you wanted to do, you would press the level button for a second. It would bring back the temperature and you're good to go. But I'm going to run through a series of the screenshots one at a time. I'm not going to explain them, but I want you to look at them close. If you have to, pause your video and uh, make sure that your unit shows the exact numbers and settings for that. So we're going to continue to use the mode button. The next screen that should appear is this. SL-H and we'll say 900. SL-L00. CN, I don't know if that's EL or what, uh, and then it will show that screen. Next one, SC-HC and I don't know if that's SEND or STND. Next screen looks just like that. Next screen looks just like that. Next one like this. Make sure your settings are correct that exactly as they are on here. Then we go, we're right back to the beginning here again. Now, once you've sequenced through that, if you're done, you press the levels button for a second and it brings you back to the screen like we see over here. Okay, I'm going to do that for a minute. Okay, now from this screen, I'm going to go back in pressing the levels button for three seconds. And now I'm going to press the levels button again. Okay, so that's the other mode you see. Now, can you change it? It'll go right back to the other two. So you got the two menus. What's the settings in this menu if somebody's messed with them? I'm just going to run through a sequence pressing the mode button. Hopefully none of nobody's touched these or you might see the word PR. It looks like P-R-E-Y. Maybe you might want to change it to P-R-A-Y. Just joking because you're praying that you get it fixed. But let's move on. Now you're back to the original mode again. You click on this for a second and it brings it right back. Let's go to the right ohm ROM, which is the bean temperature because a lot of the settings on your roaster are set up to uh, go in harmony with the bean temperature. For example, the alarm. 
So we're going to press the levels button for a minute for three seconds or so. We've gone to the um, input setting, which remember if your machine, which most of them prior to April of 2016 is using the PT100 thermocouples, this should be a one instead of a six. Now we're going to go to uh, the mode button. And I'm just going to sequence through them and you see if you notice a difference, but do it one, very slowly. That's our Fahrenheit Celsius. Okay, you're back to that again, which means you can now click back on this for a second. It brings up the uh, actual temperatures. Now let's hit the levels button again for three seconds. And now we're going to hit the level button again and then sequence uh, through the, those uh, menu settings. So remember the PSEL. Now we're going to go through the sequence. I'm just going to quietly show you screen after screen. If you hit the, that button again, it brings you to the other settings. What I'm going to do now, for the sake of helping you, kind of redundancy, is I'm going to do both side by side. So I'm pressing the uh, levels button, okay, pressing the levels button over here. A reminder again that if your unit is prior to April of 2016, that setting will be 1 because you're using a PT100. Now sequencing through the modes, let's see if they're all the same. Okay, Fahrenheit, SL-H900, which has to do with the maximum temperature for thermocouples, the high temperature. This is the low temperature for thermocouples, they're all the same so far. Let's go on. Okay, so far all the settings are identical. Everyone is identical on that. Wait, wait a second. We had an extra one on that, right? didn't we? Yes. Did you see that? A few extra uh, numbers on that as we went down through the end, if I didn't do it wrong. Now, I'm going to click on this again and go both into these modes. And we're going to uh, look at this on the other, uh, the, by hitting the level button on the left. I'm just going to sequence through them to see if they're all the same. Looks like they were all the same. So if you follow all those settings, and then you click back on the levels button for a second. You're going to bring everything back to the way it should be set. Whoops, I accidentally pushed the button too long. Okay, let me... Well, let me... Okay. So, uh, while we're on here, let me just remind you, the timer reset button right, is right there. If you accidentally hit one of these buttons, you may cause the timer to be set so it only goes off for nine minutes if it was set at 99. If it happened to be set at just 90 and you accidentally hit that button, your timer will no longer work. So we ask you in general to at least put 99 and that way if you see, hey, my timer stopped working uh, and th this is how you turn the timer on, then you'll know that you accidentally hit one of these buttons because this timer is designed to go off after 99 minutes, which it, you won't ever have to worry about a roast roasting 99 minutes. If you do that, you're in serious trouble. Then this is, of course, the control for the fan. The power button, 
This is an LPG or propane model. The heating button is actually uh, the igniter. The timer, as we talked about, the cooling for the uh, mixing or for the uh, cooling tray, and then the mixing arms. And I don't have my fan hooked up or you would hear the uh, uh, fan. By the way, never run a gas appliance, whether it be LPG or natural gas, without having at least 20 or 30 percent airflow because you don't want to build up in the uh, burner room. So that covers everything on the ohm runs. I hope you found it helpful.